I'd say get realistic expectations of what is or isn't safe on the internet. You've got parents that are upset that what um, their kid's going to be asked an anonymous question that's going to be triggering or horrible. How could they? How can they deal with that? Well, first off, there's a feature that lets you turn off anonymous asking, so I don't see what the issue is. But more than that, uh, there are more well-known sites that are bigger security risks for children today than Ask FM. Ask FM is fairly fucking mundane. Take YouTube for instance. Let's say you have a, a son or a daughter, and they're a fucking idiot because all kids are fucking idiots. They sign up for an account. They're not going to read the terms of service. They don't give a shit about the age you have to be to sign up. So they make an account and they put up their videos. And here comes some fucking freak or a pervert that wants to get information on this kid. Well, they falsely flag a video for copyright. The child in return wants to get their fucking video put back up, so they file a counterclaim to that that includes their name and their fucking address and their phone number. Where Where's the concern over that? Or how about Facebook? You want to talk about security and privacy. A kid has a Facebook account. Maybe it has minimal information. Maybe it doesn't even have family and friends. But what do they do? They go like the fucking school's Facebook account. Well, now I have a geographical idea of where the fuck that kid is. There are always inherent risks on the Internet. It's not necessarily the features of a site that make the Internet dangerous. It's how informed your child is. Parents are taking the wrong approach. They're, they're not being, um, I don't know how to put this, they're not being hands-on enough. They're not teaching their kids how to be smart. They're putting the onus on sites instead to do it for them. And that is the wrong fucking approach to take. In this day and age, everybody throws their information out like it's fucking candy. Maybe teach your kid to have multiple email accounts for the multiple social media uh, services they use. Don't interlink your Twitter and your Facebook and your YouTube and your LinkedIn and DeviantArt and your Tumblr and your Imgur and your Instagram. You know, maybe use different usernames. Uh, don't put personal information or geographical data or your date of birth up there. But no, no, parents are upset because AskFM would dare to allow you to ask an anonymous question. Fuck that. The thing that made AskFM so great was people would come on, find somebody they wanted to ask something of, and do it without any fucking hassle. By making them have to have an account to do that now, it hurts what made AskFM so interesting in the first place. So fuck these parents. They're, they're not being good parents. They're lazy parents that expect other people to do their work for them. And that's my thought on that.